so welcome back again everyone uh, i hope you enjoyed the previous session of understanding the meaning of sa 540 that is called auditing the accounting estimates and checking its fairness and disclosure so now in this particular standard everyone the next standard which we are going to take up is known as 560 in the 560 we are going to deal with subsequent events now in this standard we'll understand how the auditor obtains the audit evidence in the subsequent events are you getting the point if we will come across any kind of subsequent events what are the techniques what are the procedures he has to follow from which sources he has to see that his subsequent events have come now remember whenever we are going to talk about the subsequent event it's a very small standard try to understand whenever we are going to talk about the subsequent event subsequent event suntehi there are three things should come to your mind subsequent events means three items how many items three types of events let's say for example this is a balance sheet date this is the audit report signing date this is the date of circulation of this is the date of circulation of financial statements and auditors report to the users of financial statement which we generally circulate before the AGM. now in this standard what we have to understand that ki, let's say for example auditor came to know about an event in this area which area everyone this area between the balance sheet date and before the signing of audit report after the balance sheet date before the signing of audit report this is the situation number one which we are going to cover how the auditor will deal with that the second situation which we have to deal with is ki, what if the auditor comes across an event after signing an audit report but before circulation how to deal with that situation that also we have to understand and in the third we are going to understand ki, what if the auditor will come to know about an event after circulation and let me tell you one thing in all these three situations the most dangerous one which cannot be undone is the third situation are you getting the point so let's understand this standard very easy standard and let me tell you one thing if you are very much versed or if you are very much aware about your as4 which you have done at your intermediate level advanced accounting uh, subject may paper number five may then in that case this standard is going to be too much easy for you but yes that standard was limited in nature that standard only taught you okay what you have to do if you will come across an event which has occurred after the balance sheet date before the approval of financial statement by the board of director but here we are going to write it not as an event occurring after the balance sheet date we will use a word called what subsequent event what is the word we are going to use subsequent event the question arises sir what do you mean by subsequent event only difference is subsequent event is an event which occurred after the balance sheet date but before signing the audit report so before approval of financial statement is the word which we use in accounting and before signing the audit report is the word which we use in auditing but in this standard, we'll understand that there are total three types of subsequent events. How many types? Three types of subsequent events, which takes place after the balance sheet date, before signing of the audit report. Means after the balance sheet date, after the 31st March, but before signing the audit report. What is the next one? An event which occurred after the signing of audit report, but before circulation. Means audit report is already signed, but before circulation. And what is the third event? An event which occurred after the circulation of the audit report. So let's divide the whole thing into three parts. You can see that what is this part, everyone? What is this part? Case one after the balance sheet, but before the signing of audit report. What is this? Case two after the signing of audit report, but before the circulation. Case three after the circulation. Now, what this standard is going to teach you? The primary objective of this standard is to enable an auditor to understand how to respond when he comes across a subsequent event in each of the following situations to obtain sufficient and appropriate audit evidence to express a reasonable assurance of financial statement. Always remember, idea behind every standard in the 500 series will be to obtain reasonable assurance. Will be to obtain what? Reasonable assurance. And how you can have a reasonable assurance? Only with the help of sufficient and appropriate audit evidences. Did you get the point? So ultimate idea is that ki how and what the auditor is going to do when he'll come across the any kind of subsequent event after the balance sheet date, after the audit report is signed or after the circulation has taken place. So let us understand the case number one. What is the case number one? An event occurred after the balance sheet date but before the signing of an audit report. In this case, what the auditor shall do? Auditor, it shall be dealt in the same way how we treat it when it comes to AS4. They are saying that if the auditor comes to know about an event which occurred after the 
बैलेंस शीट डेट बट बिफोर द साइनिंग ऑफ ऑडिट रिपोर्ट सेम ए एस फोर का ट्रीटमेंट करना है सर वट इज द ए एस फोर का ट्रीटमेंट वी बट बिफोर डूइंग द ए एस फोर का ट्रीटमेंट देर आर सम रिक्वायर्ड रिस्क असेसमेंट प्रोसीजर्स वट द ऑडिटर हैज टू डू रिक्वायर्ड फर्दर ऑडिट प्रोसीजर विद ऑडिटर हैज टू डू वट एन इवेंट विच एन ऑडिटर कम अक्रॉस बिफोर साइनिंग एन ऑडिट रिपोर्ट शेल बी डेल्ट इन द फॉलोइंग वे दैट इज कॉल्ड डी डी आई सर वट डू मीन बाई डी डी आई discuss the matter discuss the event with the management and tcwg the first d what is the second d when you are discussing determine along with the management and tcwg ki does it impact our financial statements or not and during the discussion if you think that ki impact of that matter on the financial statement is huge then in that case inquire from the management कि इज इट अ एडजस्टिंग इवेंट और अ नॉन एडजस्टिंग इवेंट नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइजेस कि सर वी तो ऑलरेडी हैव स्टडीड द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट दैट्स व्हाट आई वाज टेलिंग यू द पार्ट वन द केस वन इज वेरी मच सिमिलर टू योर एस फोर नाउ व्हेन यू आर डूइंग डीडीआई विद द मैनेजमेंट डिस्कशन डिटर्मिनेशन एंड इंक्वायरी विद द मैनेजमेंट हाउ यू विल कम टू नो दैट कि वेदर द पर्टिकुलर इवेंट इज एन एडजस्टिंग इवेंट और इज अ नॉन एडजस्टिंग इवेंट हाउ विल कम टू नो कि दिस इज एन एडजस्टिंग इवेंट और अ नॉन एडजस्टिंग इवेंट an adjusting event is the one what an adjusting event is the one whose existence whose existence was already appearing on balance sheet date and a non adjusting event is the one whose existence was not appearing on the balance sheet date so what do you mean by adjusting event an adjusting event is the one whose existence was appearing on the balance sheet date and a non adjusting event is whose circumstances were not existing on the balance sheet date let's say for example there is one debtor as on 31 3 2022 he was my debtor of 50 crores on 7th may before signing the audit report i came to know that ki that debtor got what insolvent so on the balance sheet date he was standing as a debtor but now he became insolvent so i went to the management discuss ki what is do you know that ki this person was going to get insolvent management is saying no we were not aware of the fact that ki this person is going to get insolvent he was so making our payments very regularly so that is very unfortunate that ki this particular debtor got what insolvent then i will go to the management say that pakka na you are sure so yes management is saying yes we are sure give me in writing ki you are sure so i took the letter from the management in writing ki they are sure that ki they were not aware about his insolvency so it is known as non adjusting event because on the balance sheet date the company was not having any idea that this particular person will go insolvent but suppose the management is saying yes yes yes, yes sir in the month of january and february we came across that this person has also uh, done the bad debt of the payments to some other parties so there was a rumor going on in the market that this person is going to be insolvent now it means when you already had an idea on the balance sheet date it means the existence was there on balance sheet date now it becomes a adjusting event now the question arises we understood what do you mean by adjusting event and what do you mean by non adjusting event but what we need to do if it is an adjusting event auditor has to tell to the management ki please adjust this particular bad debts to your financial statements immediately immediately you have to adjust it to your financial statement and even if it is a non adjusting event at least give a proper disclosure in the notes to accounts that is the same thing everyone you all will agree with me we have understood in as4 so this is what is i was talking about about the adjusting event and non adjusting event so situation number 1 me to there is no problem situation number 1 is very easy situation number 2 auditor comes to know about an event after signing the audit report but before the circulation of financial statement and auditor's report copy to the users of financial statement now we all know that agm annual general meeting every company has to conduct an annual general meeting and we know that every annual general meeting ke 21 days before we have to send one notice notice of agm in the notice of agm do we attach the financial statement copy auditor's report copy yes now try to understand before circulation date before you were sending that you came to know about an event it means you already signed the audit report and after one month you are about to circulate it so during that one month after signing the audit report before circulation you came across an event now what you will do in such situation you have to follow sa 320 what is 320 audit materiality check 
द मेटीरियलिटी ऑफ दैट आइटम एंड ट्रांजेक्शन इफ यू थिंक दैट कि दैट पर्टिकुलर आइटम और दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्रांजेक्शन इज मेटीरियल इट इज अफेक्टिंग योर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट then in that case again proceed with ddi what is ddi discuss determine inquire go directly to the management and tcwg tell them that ki i already signed the audit report this event has come to my knowledge just now what to do with this event determine its impact determine the impact of that event on your financial statement if the impact on the financial statement is huge then inquire from the management ki do you agree if we revise or amend our financial statements or not this is called ddi discuss determine inquire now the question arises you went to the management you told them that ki this event is something which i came across what is the what is your call on the same now the management may say two things rohit we agree with you yes we are ready to revise and amend our financial statement or they may say that rohit sorry we don't agree with you we are not ready to revise the financial or amend the financial statement let's understand what if they agree with me if they will agree with me now it means my responsibility will increase their responsibility is to revise the financial statement i am not concerned about that my responsibility as an auditor will increase i have to do fap i have to do what fap what do you mean by fap further audit procedures kyunki that event was so impactful on my financial statement ki without obtaining sufficient and appropriate audit evidence on the same i cannot proceed with it means i have to do further audit procedures first to obtain the evidence on that event so that i can support my opinion on that particular event so what is the step number 2 step number 2 i will issue a new audit report i will issue a which report obviously the old audit report me old event was there old opinion was that this event came to my knowledge when afterwards so i will issue a new audit report sir you will issue a new audit report but what about the old audit report we will tell the management to surrender first the old audit report then only tarvata i will issue the new audit report clear now sir what if the management tells you ki we have already printed so many copies of audit report rohit sir if you will issue the new audit report again new expenditure new kharcha everything then in that case there is one more solution do dual dating para what you have to do dual dating para it is an orthodox approach dual dating para means what on the same audit report only give the another opinion paragraph with the new date and the recent date the new opinion will automatically invalidate your old opinion new opinion will automatically invalidate your what old opinion did you get the point so this is what do you mean by this carry your fap issue revised audit report or give dual date but this all three things will happen if the management agrees with you what if the management disagrees in case the management does not agree with you then do two things modify your opinion kyunki management agree nahi kar rahi bhai management agree nahi kar rahi so far it has not been circulated tell to the management okay you want to surrender or do you don't want to surrender me my old report i am the going to modify my report so simply modify the report right or not सर हाउ टू मॉडिफाइड द रिपोर्ट सर क्वालिफाई कर दो एडवर्स कर दो डिस्क्लेम कर दो एंड राइट सम रीजन इन द बेसिस पैराग्राफ सर वट इज दे डू नॉट अलाउ अस टू मॉडिफाइड द रिपोर्ट दे आर फोर्सिंग अस देन इन दैट केस इट्स बेटर यू गेट डिसोसिएटेड बेटर यू गेट वॉट डिसोसिएटेड एंड टेक अप्रोप्रिएट एक्शन वट डू मीन बाई अप्रोप्रिएट एक्शन गो एंड टेक एंड इश्यू अ पब्लिक नोटिस saying that ki do not believe on that financial statement do not believe on the audit report which i have issued i already intimated it to the management management is not ready to take the needful action do not rely upon that audit report at all but remember this is a very huge step it's better and it is advisable that you should take the expert advice in that which advice expert advice so this is what is written modify and this is what is written take appropriate action now let's come to the third situation so what is the third situation you came across an event you come to know about an event after the circulation now not af after balance sheet date before signing over case 1 after the signing of audit report before circulation case 2 now you came to know about an event and after the circulation means your financial statement and audit report copy has already been circulated via notice now what to do in this case 
In this case, you have to do this thing. What is this thing? Point number one. Generally, you are helpless in this case. You are not going to do anything because damage is already so huge and done. Even if you came across this event, you can't do anything if that event is immaterial in nature. So again, you have to apply your SA320 and you have to understand is this event material or immaterial in nature. Then what is the next thing you will do? The next thing you will do is what? Next thing, in case your SA320 gives you the answer that intensity of the situation is so big and the materiality of the transaction is so high, then in that case, do one thing, go to the management and do DDA. Remember one thing, it should touch your pervasive level. Go to the management and do DDI. What is DDI? Again, discuss with the management. He said, this is the matter, how it has come to my knowledge. Determine, what do they have to say on that? And inquire, are they ready to revise the financial statement or not? Now, again, management will give you the two reply. Rohit, we agree with you. We are ready to revise the financial statement. Don't worry, we are there with you. You do whatever you want to do for the betterment of users of financial statement. Then, so there is no problem. But problem is when? When they disagree with you. If they agree with you, now, sir, what to do? If they will agree with me, if they are agreeing with me, I will again carry out my FAPS because further audit procedure ke according he, you will obtain some audit evidences which will help you in supporting your opinion on the revised matter. Right? So, you have to do the FAP. Same thing. Here also you will issue, but yes, one very important thing. You have to check on the management, ki how management is going to deal with this situation because circulation has already been done. Circulation means or already financial statement and audit report copies have been sent. How you will do, how they will undo it, that is not your responsibility. I am not telling you to take tension of it. I am not telling you to take tension of it. I am making sure that you should not take tension of it. Let the management take the tension. But whatever the management is going to do, whatever the management is going to do, make sure that you should have an eye on that. How they are dealing with this situation. Next one, issue again the revised report, but uh, now little bit of change has come. We will issue the revised audit report, but along with the revised audit report, I am going to include one paragraph called OMP para. Which para para? Others matters paragraph. So that I can draw the attention of the users of financial statement, ki bhaiya, the first audit report which you have seen, please ignore. And this is the reason why I am telling you to ignore and please consider my revised audit report. Consider my what? Revised audit report. Is it clear to all of you? Yes or no? But the problem is, what if the management disagree with you? Then to, there is no option. You can't even un, you can't even modify the report because it is already being circulated. So modification wala option is not there. But yes, please warn the management. Don't take the undue advantage of this situation. But if you think that ki management is not listening to you properly, they're not taking you serious. Then in that case, you know what is that? Take appropriate action. But before taking the appropriate action, before giving the public notice in the newspaper, take a legal advice how you have to proceed with it. Maybe later on you may have to bear the consequences. But yes, when it comes to the users of financial statement, you need to do these kind of needful things, right? Now, the most important thing is, sir, we already understood what to do in situation 1, situation 2, situation 3. But the question is, how you will come to know that ki subsequent event has happened? How you will come to know that the subsequent event has happened? You will come to know about the subsequent event by the various sources. And remember, whenever you are applying your procedures, first give a reasonable opportunity to the management to justify their method of identification of subsequent events. So first go to the management and ask them very politely, what is your method of identification of Subsequent event. That is what? Identify management procedure for detecting what? Subsequent event. Suppose they are keeping the silence. They are not responding to you. Now it's your turn. Evaluate the following situation. Ask these five questions to the management. What are the five questions? Is there any development in your contingencies after the balance sheet date? Kya aap ki contingent liabilities, pending litigations and claims mein koi development hua hai ya nahi? Ye pehle puchhenge. Second thing which I am going to ask. Did you acquire or did you dispose any asset or not? Kya aapne koi major asset acquisition ya major asset uh, disposal kiya hai nahi? Then, did you enter into any major commitments and contracts or not? Kya aapne koi bade se contract or boss bade commitment ko haan bola hai ya nahi? 
Are you getting that? Did you suffer any damage or loss? Did you incur any compensation? बहुत बड़ा loss हुआ या damage हुआ? Or did you have any financial setback or financial shock after the balance sheet or not? So once I will acquire these five things, I will come to know that yes, there is any subsequent event or not. Let's say for example, this formula also did not work. Then the third formula. Tell to the management simply bring me your minutes of the three meetings. What are the three types of meeting? मेरे को board meeting के minutes चाहिए, मेरे को shareholder meeting के minutes चाहिए, मेरे को TCWG meeting, those charged with governance meeting के minutes चाहिए. Give me the minutes of these things. I will evaluate the minutes and I will understand you what kind of major decision and what kind of major instances have taken place after the balance sheet date. If that is also not available, then in that case, obtain and scrutinize the latest interim financial statement. Tell them that. कि गिव मी द लेटेस्ट इंट्रीम फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ करंट ईयर देखो सर बहुत सिंपल सी बात है यू आर डूइंग एन ऑडिट फॉर 21 22 फाइनेंशियल ईयर बट यू आर डूइंग द ऑडिट इन द मंथ ऑफ सितंबर इन द अप टू द मंथ ऑफ सितंबर ऑलरेडी टू क्वार्टर्स ऑफ द 22 23 फाइनेंशियल ईयर आर ओवर सो सिंपल टेल देम गिव मी द लेटेस्ट सब्सिक्वेंट सब्सिक्वेंट मींस आफ्टर द फाइनेंशियल ईयर इंट्रीम फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट ऑब्टेन द कॉपी ऑफ दैट एंड स्क्रूटनाइज इट so these are the four methods by which you acquire the knowledge of subsequent events everyone is it clear to all of you i hope you all understood these two standards 540 and 560 very clearly so i'll see you in the next video everyone with 570 bye everyone take care